To calibrate the pumps, they must be charged. If the pumps have not been charged within the past 48 hours, you must recharge the pumps prior to sampling. Start the pumps as they need to warm up for at least three minutes before you begin the calibration. Be sure to verify the pump flow rates in an area where you are not exposing the media and equipment to the contaminant, like an office setting. All pumps have the lab calibration information on the field pump data sheets provided. Set up the pumps with the correct media in line, with the field rotometer as shown. The order of the components for calibration is pump, tubing, IOM, IOM calibration adapter, tubing, and rotometer. To set up the calibration adapter, push the IOM through the hinged bracket and place the inlet against the foam ring. Clamp the IOM in place with the plastic clamping screw until the foam ring compresses about one millimeter. Ensure the IOM inlet is centered, then connect the tubing to the hose barb on the calibrator outlet. With everything sitting on a level flat surface, check the ball float in the rotometer. Be sure to take your rotometer reading at eye level and use the center of the float for the value. If you need to adjust the flow, use the set screw on the pump. After you are satisfied with the flow rate, record the value on the field pump data sheet. Remove the representative IOM and adapter and mark it for use in the post calibration you will be performing after sampling is completed. Then insert the fresh IOM you will use for worker sampling. Be sure to remove the rotometer and attach tubing before sampling. After sampling is completed, a post calibration must be performed on the pump. Perform the post calibration the same way you did the pre calibration, using the marked calibration IOM, but do not make any set screw adjustments. Just record the flow rate on the pump calibration sheet. The pre and post rates should be within 10% of each other. If they are, average the flow rates to determine the flow rate to be used to calculate the air volume. All rotometers are calibrated against a primary standard quarterly. This calibration formula is located on the side of the field rotometer. Take the average rotometer reading and plug it into the calibration formula found on the side of the rotometer to determine your actual flow rate. Multiply the flow rate, LPM, by the total time sampled in minutes to get the air volume in liters. Record the total liters on the field pump data sheets and the chain of custody. If the post sampling rates are not within 10%, OSHA considers the samples screening samples, and if the analytical results show high levels, resampling is recommended. Then, complete the chain of custody form. It is important that you include all the information requested in order to ensure the turnaround time of your samples. Remove the pink copy and keep this for your records. Send the white and yellow copies in with the samples to the lab in the large Ziploc bag. Please place any unused media inside the Ziploc bag, marked with the orange unused media label. This will indicate that these items should not be analyzed and will be properly disposed of by Galson Laboratories. Questions? Contact SGS Galson by phone or IH Live Chat, 303-566-1000.